thing that we have to do. So we have different kind of uh, that is called the geometry of the bridges. Okay, so these are the one of the typical example that uh, uh, we have to follow up. Now the question is how we can create different kind of bridge segment or bridge geometry. Got it. So we can uh, make uh, uh, like different kind of geometry by the help of the simple tool. But see, every time you have to think out of the box, right? Because see, the tools that we have and the tools that are available, uh, that might be, that is quite helpful. Okay, but uh, not always. Got it. So we have to look for that. Let me first fix this grids. Okay. Now we can uh, make multiple position of the bridges just by uh, uh, using this all the tools. Okay. So uh, first thing that I I want to ensure about that the view we are working. Okay. So here we have the view list and these all are the views that we have. Okay. We can delete this all and again we can create. Got it. Here we have this view by the help of uh, this grids just assume I am selecting this all the object after that I am selecting the grid fine after right click and here you will see along grid line create that one now we have clearly grids got it so now we can also uh, define their uh, height and that all kind of thing so first thing we need to change some of their uh, uh, their labels okay because see initially we have some of the issue with that label so i will just ensure that what is the typical height of each segment okay so first segment we have the peer level at 5000 mm got it so uh, i will just click here and here i will fix 00 see this thing carefully sir plus 5000 mm got it modify after that, I will select this one and uh, what is the thickness of this? That, that is 3400. So at that 5000 mm, we have two objects, right? After that, what height we need? So that is the 3400. Here we can put another plus amount in this one. Okay, so I will just add. 5000 plus 3400 it means it is 8 5058 uh, uh, that is 8000 let me check this again this height is 3400 so that will be um, 5000 plus 3400 it means 83400 8000 plus 3 no no sorry this will be 11000 just let me calculate i am getting little bit confused so we have 5000 plus 3400 total value is 8400 so i will mark plus 8400 mm later on we have uh this one so i will again add that 5000 mm got it i will again add that you are seeing a screen hello here i will put plus eight four eight three four zero zero later again I will add that is 5000 so what will be next height that is 
थर्टीन प्लस थ्री फोर थर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव द हाइट दैट इज टू थाउजेंड अगेन आई विल एड एड दैट टू थाउजेंड अगेन सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव प्लस टू थाउजेंड सो थर्टीन प्लस टू दैट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव ओके नाउ एट द टॉप ऑफ दिस दिस वन वी हैव दिस बीम ओके वी कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन देयर अपर पार्ट बट नाउ इट्स फाइन ओके एव दैट we can also add uh, see why i am doing this one because we need each level to do the things with the geometry okay so here we have the height is 1500 again we will add 1500 at this one at 1500 plus 1500 we have to add here okay so One five four double zero plus fifteen hundred. What will be the value? That is sixteen nine hundred. Sixteen nine hundred. Okay. Now modify. So now we have each labels. Okay. If you see here, we don't have that one. So I will again delete this all. Okay. And again I will make one new grid. I will just select this all the object. this one also this one also and here we have create view along grid line okay here you can see we have all the grids with their height ah oh, sorry i think there is some mistake no it's okay here we have to define that one sorry here uh, uh, first we will put at 5000 Eight four zero zero, okay. One three four zero zero, one five four zero zero, and one six nine double zero. Forty five. Now, if you check here view list again, uh, it will not shown here. We have to select that all, or first go here and delete that all the view. Okay. now i will select this all and this one here we have create view along grid create okay here you can see we have that all the labels that we have prescribed got it now uh, there might be so now it's okay i think so fine so this is the how we can fix that thing now if we have to another segment so see uh, whenever we have the bridge geometry so bridge geometry not always straight there might be some kind of curve in the bridge so the question is how we can model the things in curve so see there are two kind of thing you can either put this beam on the curve or you can use the box girder box girder is also a uh, very good option to create that bridges okay you will find uh, whenever we have the long span between the two pillar we can go with the box uh, that is box girder okay so first we will finish this this all the bridges with some kind of um, the same segment after later we will go for the box okay so in this one in this view option uh i just want to give some kind of curve here okay so just assume we have that is a 20 degree curve that is 20 degree curve is very much okay so how we can create the curve any idea you have if you see here uh, in this one in the line okay here i am just making one curve this line we have and if i want to give uh if i want to copy this one in their uh, linear linear not linear rotate we have to rotate this one okay in z with an angle of what will be the angle 20 degree so i will select their first point and their direction of rotation 
कॉपी और फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर कॉपी फॉर इट सो दिस इज द वे वी कैन क्रिएट द ओके सो दिस इज द वे दिस वी हैव सी दिस लाइन वी हैव एट 20 डिग्री ओके हेयर वी हैव 180 डिग्री एंगल सो 20 डिग्री आर गोइंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वन ओके इफ वी ड्रॉ ए भव so see let me explain you again this we have the line and we have to rotate that one okay in in this direction fine so generally if we are following the clockwise direction so how we can rotate this one i will just select this this uh, first point and there second point of rotation so it's rotating got it both of you but uh, uh, what is the problem problem is it's not rotating in their perfect angle so uh, if i detect 180 degree minus 20 it will become 160 again i will put first point and second point copy it it will rotate okay but see this uh, this line is going apart from uh, like apart from here so i will move this i will pick this one and i will fix up to here so this is the 20 degree angle okay this angle we we have find here this angle how you can confirm this is 20 degree draw another line angle between these two line okay so uh, between these two line in steel and concrete or in edit here we have angle i will just measure uh, angle between this line and this line oh, sorry let me make this again angle this is our first okay So this is 20 degree. Got it both of you? Now how we can create and place the object in this 20 degree. Okay. So we need some kind of you can say uh, some extra uh, type of object here. Okay. At this point. You can also place beam here. But you have to increase the section sizes of this part, uh, particular uh, this one. The slab one. Okay, how we can change their section? See, uh, while we have in our uh, preliminary stage, uh, it may require you may require more uh, time to get over that by using extra tools. But right now, we will just use our basic tools and command. So here you can see I have increased that one. You can also increase to one five zero zero because we have enough uh, space or enough just wait i will pick from here and oh, sorry i will pick this one i have to fit put in the middle so here this is our middle point now we have to put this beam at 20 degree how we can copy this one and just make one copy here now you have to rotate this one with angle of 20 degree here we have copy a special rotate and uh, i will give first point and second point copy it will rotate like this now we can replace this beam move use move command and here okay so this is the way there are some of the uh, interaction between these two point but don't worry we can uh, fix that one okay we can just cut out some section from here this point similarly we can put another beam with 20 degree but how again we can make number of copy don't get don't get confused here you just pick the midpoint you have to do some 
edit part right here. See, 20 degree is very uh, large thing. Generally, 20 degree is not provided. Uh, we can go with the maximum five. Uh, that is 10. Uh, that is 10 degree. That will be enough. Now we have the setup that are at base level. Now the question is how you can make that things. So again, we will make copy a special. Okay, here first we will make one copy from here to here. Okay, now we can rotate this all the things at 20 degree. Here, select this all. We have this uh, copy special. Rotate. And here we have the Z axis. Copy. Oh, sorry. I will give the direction. Yes, this is okay. How we can make uh, uh, move this one? Just make one copy or use move command. Fine. And pick the midpoint. Place somewhere here. Now uh, we have to fix this thing. Okay. So this is the challenge. So now how you can fix? So first thing we can use some of the command that is the line command. I think this is not the perfect, perfectly rotated. Okay, so here, how we can fix this thing? Now see, uh, we have uh, rotated our object at 20 degree angle. So we can also rotate this all the object with an angle of 20 degree inclination. Fine. So how we can here we can copy a special and we can use the rotate command. Similarly, we can give one uh, uh, from here to here copy. Okay. Now we have to fix that one. This uh, par particular this this object here. So I will use the move command here. I will pick uh, one point. Okay. This point here. I will just put the things right here. But uh, uh, here we have to use some of the tools to edit. Now because see, due to the, uh, the curvature we are getting here, the things are uh, not will be similar. So now you can see there might be some difficulties. Either we can increase their sex, uh, their length. See, they, if we increase the length, their depth will be increased. Okay. So here we are dealing with the modeling. So we will uh, just modify the things, but not always. Okay. You required the calculations to do that. But let me check this thing in view 3D. I think there is, ah, sorry. Oh. That is inclined like this. Okay. So is this okay or not? Hello? This one is okay, na? Yes. It seems to be down, but this is not the, uh, that is the down part. You will see that all the elements, okay, are on the same plane. Right here, you are seeing. Okay. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> see there, if I see uh, this all the things, okay, so what I will do, I will just see this all the techniques, see this modeling part you are uh, learning here, it's quite interesting and sometimes you need, why, why you need to do this all kind of thing because see, without getting over the geometry of the bridges, how you can design that one, okay, the question mark right here. So that's why, see, that's why we are doing that one. This is the, that is the part of our training and it's different department. Okay. We, we, we can also design that one by putting the load, analyzing the whole the things. Okay. That we will see the later, but right now I will finish this module and see the bridge part are a little bit complicated. That's why we have to go uh, slowly. Okay. It will take time. Fine. But don't worry. We will do this all the things. 
now uh, we can increase you can you have to pick this point and up to that you can scroll like this okay or we can change there like 15200 enter again we can pick this one and here 15200 sorry it has been increased on another another side so yes yes we can do that why yes you have to just select this one and use use the move command see i am making the things freehand but uh, uh, you might have to follow up with the the real geometry okay i will see uh, by the end of this month i will assign you or i will do one uh, uh, section of any bridge project okay with their dimensions hello sir yes sir can we uh, uh, use the construction join command in this for the proper point yes yes we can also but we can use that uh, trim command okay line cut let me show you here if you go in the edit we have the line cut okay we can select the object and we can do the line cut also here but you have to select each and every object okay. yeah mayur you are right you we can use that construction line also okay from this midpoint to this midpoint okay and we can increase or decrease the there is a segment like this here we have sir how to reduce or uh, increase the length here you have to select this point okay this blue point and you have to scroll like this okay okay so this is the geometrical representation now we can uh, use the line cut to ride over this uh, interact interaction point you have to just select this one i think this will not work let me try no we don't have to use uh, we can use that part cut this part we have to cut select this one this one select this select this select this select this now see uh, what is the main point that we need see if you in your local if there are any kind of bridge you have you can just go there and check their uh, form but i will uh, show you some of the interesting bridge pictures okay that are uh, situated in new delhi okay so there they are using lots of kind of things right there they are also using the box culvert okay some of the special arrangement over the bridge okay now oh, yes so we have this geometry we can follow up for the next uh, uh, arrangement right how we can but the next arrangement it will be easy because the beam length will be equal we can just select this all okay make copy from here sorry first thing that you need to do that you have to provide that construction object actually i have deleted that one let me Yes, yes. This we have. And move. Here to here. Okay, on this line we can place another uh, uh, bridge segment. Just copy this one from this point to this point. Like this, we can follow up. 
okay or we can just uh, type the distance like i am going to put here one at 12000 mm or at 1 10000 mm sorry they are detecting the same we have to select the so now uh, same way we have to put the beam we have to copy this one from uh, this point to this point okay and we can increase their length length just select this and pick the midpoint like this okay got it both of you how we can uh, uh, create this bridge geometry this is some of the easiest way that we can do okay here you can see it's uh, intersecting intersecting each other you can just move sorry we have to move this one like this okay also we can make copy from this point to this point this point this point this point and this point like this but it so this is the way we can create geometry see not only the geometry if our bridge segment is changing you can also change the grid of grid lines okay how you can i will just tell you that let's assume here we have the 15 number of grid grid i will just go with the seven number and here i will decrease to 8 modify now the another segment that you are seeing we can put another grid okay here we have the grid i will just put this one and i will select this i can rotate this grid also how just we have this copy a special rotate and uh, we can give their angle like this copy okay do not expand but it and we can just delete this delete now i will further copy this all the grid or move picking their point okay like i want to give from here this point to uh yes this point expand now again we can expand their grids got it so this you have to uh go with your like uh this kind of things but not always uh, uh, you have to use this you can also get with the single grid add grid if i just want to add one grid lines just here okay like see i want to grid one line here like this so this we have the grid where it is this one fine you can increase or decrease their grid length but uh, placing the single one it will take more time but it's also preferred okay but the same thing is that you can just uh, utilize their this grid lines fine again we can add another segment that will be the very simple thing we can just make copies copy here just select the points it's showing the perpendicular i will go with the 1600 thousand right like this again we can make the number of copy like this copy a special and uh, from this point to this point okay but here we our geometry is not matching we can increase or decrease okay see whenever you are starting any project you have to do some kind of paper work also it's not always taking the software advantage you have to do some kind of calculation also 
just like when you are finding difficulty in the placing the extracting the grid lines in e tabs okay so you you can use the other another geometrical uh, type of thing also so this is the bridge segment got it this we have the bridge segment we can similarly develop our all the uh, bridges now see if we have inclination in the bridge yeah mayur so tell me what you can do our next segment of the bridge is higher than their previous one so what you can do now <laughs> rotate no uh, if i want to elevate this part so how we can elevate first first let me tell you that uh, we can make copy first let's copy this one from uh, this geometrical point to this now if i want to elevate this all the things okay so uh, generally we have to elevate their pillar right because this is the things that you can vary okay because see if our surface is plain then we our pillar height will be differ because our base level are at the same okay we are only elevated the things so how you can do this one you can just make the their uh, top height I, i will just give just assume i am giving 100 mm inclination so i will type 11100 and and modify little bit it has been increased little bit also we can uh, uh, move this one linear in this z direction that is 100 mm move this it's moved now the question is how how you can put the things like here okay so what kind of beam we have to put that we have to put the inclined beam right here okay these are the same thing that we have to do again uh, uh, we can decrease their length lengths better just go with the geometry or we can use the line command now you can use the line command to edit line cut select the object Select this object and give the opposite direction cut. No, it's not working. Let me. We have this line cut. Select this one object and give the direction. Now it's cut out. Similarly, we can use for different segment. Select the object, line cut. Okay, from this point to this point, or see if there another part is cutting out, you have to use another direction, like from here to here. Got it, Mayur? Yes. And see, this software are not like E tabs. You are asking about their uh, manuals and the proper way. See. in the in the modeling part we have to utilize lots of tool at at uh, at the same time but in another software if you compare with another one so there is similar procedure like in e tab you are putting load combination so load combination you have to put in similar way you have to analyze the structure in similar way but the beam part are not so like like that okay you need some time extra effort don't worry uh, time by time you will get it okay and it will be good okay if you are using lots of tool right here you will get more command over this software in short period of time now the question yes. is how we can elevate there at uh, this beam so it's quite easy okay you just make copy from here to here i have i have make this copy i will sort first of all i will select this one and uh, give there now if you if you just select this here you can see on plane dx and dy so dy i can elevate to 
45. Okay, go to the view and check in 3D. This you can see. Mayur? This we have. Okay, again it's uh, inserted inside. Let me check there. No, it's not working. Just wait. Sir, it will be in D, uh, DZ. Ah, sorry. Yes, yes. It will be in DZ. So, here. 100. Got it? Now again we can make copy. This is quite easy. From this point to this, to this, to this, to this, and to this. So now we have this whole bridge segment. It's uh, It seems to be interesting. Okay. Now, what will be the things that you have to put right here? See, one part that we have missed out that uh, at each at each segment, like here, we have to put bearing. We can we will also make bearing. Okay, the damper also we will put here. We will model in this software. But uh, after this, we have some kind of slab. We have to put the slab over the beam. Okay. And uh, above the slab, what will be the things that we have the surface of the bridge? Okay, so let me visualize this all the things. You have used, uh, Mayur, did you use this tool to visualize? No, sir. No, so after visualizing this, this it will seem quite interesting. You can get over view of the bridge in their real presentation. So here you can see a window. This you can check here. Okay, so this is the bridge model that we have developed. Okay. Like this. So similarly, we can put the, uh, we can animate this all the things and we can make whole bridge model like this. Similar in the similar way. Got it? So this is the way that you have to deal with the geometry. See, this bridge need, uh, I will try to, once you will get command over the basic thing, I will try to cover up as much as geometrical uh, geometry I can cover. Okay. So in uh, uh, our next task is, is to be do the reinforcement in this bridge part. How we can do the reinforcement because the reinforcement will be similar if i am using at once you can use at each segment fine any question you have hello and mm -hmm. on sunday mm -hmm. if you are available both of you i can arrange uh, some extra session in daytime not in evening okay mr kulkarni yes sir uh, i can attend Okay, so in morning hour or morning in uh, or in afternoon, I can uh, arrange some extra session, okay, to uh, provide you the bridge modeling of this type of things, okay? So morning will be better. Ah, fine, fine, okay, definitely. Okay, so yes, yes. kindly do this practice. I think Mayur, you have done. And if there are any kind of modification, proceed for that, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you.